Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer, and I'm delighted to speak in today's debate, one which will be watched with interest and with real concern in coastal communities across my Highlands and Islands region. Can I thank all the individuals and organisations who have provided input into today's debate, including many constituents who have been in contact, and let me be very clear, they are almost without exception strongly opposed to the Scottish Government's plans, and they represent communities from right across my region. And I think it's important to listen to my constituents. One of them, Kate from Dingwall, recently said of the Government's plans that no other EU country has implemented HPMAs and there is no evidence to demonstrate they actually achieve their aims. She argued that they would have disproportionate socio-economic impact on our island and coastal communities and that she couldn't understand why anyone in government thought it would be a good idea to take such a blanket approach. Well, I hope Kate from Dingwall will stand by those comments she made when campaigning for the SNP leadership and that she will stand up for our constituents and our coastal communities today by voting against the Scottish Government's shameful attempt to water down the Scottish Conservative motion. Only by doing so will she send out that clear message that she opposes these SNP Green proposals. And I hope those of our SNP colleagues who represent coastal communities will do the same. They will know, as well as I do, the real anger in their government's plans have caused and the real fear for the future it is causing in these often fragile communities. And they will know that if they prioritise the deal with the Greens over the future of their communities, they will never be forgiven. Presiding officer, these plans have been rejected right across the Highlands and Islands. Highland Council warned that they will stop vital economic activity in fragile remote and rural communities and they refer reference concerns raised with them that makes comparisons between these proposals and the Highland clearances. Orkney Islands Council have said they believe the proposals could have an adverse economic and social impact on Orkney's communities and they, they would strongly oppose the introduction of HPMAs including by judicial means if necessary. I apologise to the Cabinet Secretary, I just don't have time. And Orkney's supply chain would be impacted too. Julius Garrett of Garrett Brothers said the proposed HPMAs would be devastating not just to the aquaculture and fishery sector in Orkney but also to the hundreds of jobs in the supply chain which depend on these businesses. In Shetland, the Shetland Fishermen's Association called the government's plans one of the most pressing threats facing all sectors of Shetland's fishing fleet and therefore Shetland's entire seafood economy. Daniel Lawson of the SFA said Shetland's fishermen have proven in the past that they are not opposed to sensible conservation measures recognising that strong fish stocks and healthy marine ecosystems are in their own interests and in the wider interest of sustaining our fishing community. However, proposals for HPMAs are being driven by politics and pledges and are devoid of any environmental imperative or scientific backing. Ruth Henderson of Seafood Shetland said the aquaculture sector was already highly regulated and warned the Scottish Government of disregarding the importance of the sector to jobs and in providing nutritious food in pursuit of vacuous conservation headlines. Tavish Scott, once of this place and now of Salmon Scotland, said the HPMA proposal risking jobs and investment going abroad. How does that fit with the Cabinet Secretary's own claim that our seas must remain a source of economic prosperity for the nation, especially in our remote, coastal and island communities? Presiding officers, this Green SNP coalition is pushing proposals which would decimate our fishing industry, its supply chain and our coastal communities. And so I urge all MSPs, but particularly those MS, SNP MSPs from the Highlands and Islands, put your constituents first today, not your government and their deal with the Greens. And at decision time, reject the Scottish Government's amendment and back ours. All those who care about our coastal communities and their future must come together and send a clear message to the Scottish Government they have got this very wrong and they must scrap their plans for HPMAs.